In today's video, we'll take a look at how we connect Riedel smart panels to reactor Skarhoi technology. So Riedel and Skarhoi can now talk together. The Riedel smart panels are known by many of you guys and owned by many of you guys uh, because you use it for intercom. And that's the, the main application and claim to fame of these panels, but actually they do have a the capability of becoming control panels. It has to do with the um, CPA, control panel application, something you can install on the panels. It requires a license, but when you do, using NMOS technology, you can access the panels and integrate them with other control applications like Reactor. And that's what I'll show you in this video. So I have both of these set up with the CPA, the control panel application, and they are now ready to talk to Reactor here. So I want to show you how that works. So um, the Reactor's um, installation you see right here is coming from my blue pill. So in order to make this work, you either need to own just a blue pill server like this one that has all that running on it. Or if you have a rack panel from Skarhoi, yeah, we do rack panels, by the way. Let's just put it over here. It could also be an RCP. This is our RCP mini coming out in 24. And all those, they have the reactor engine running on them. And that's what you see the interface for right here. So right here, it's running on the blue pill. But if we go to packages, I can install the package that will basically, I type in Riedel. And uh, we have this X panel Riedel smart panel application. It's currently not on the blue pill, but it will be installed. And what you need to look out for is this little icon up here in the corner. If it is green, it means the blue pill has connection to the internet through your network. And when that's the case, we can pull from our servers the software which is now installed. So what I need to do is to go here and basically start it up. And you see it's like pre-configured. Actually, it is pre-configured with one of these panels because the real smart panels today, I have the, the um, two rack unit version here and uh, over here we have the uh, one rack unit version. And this one is on 10, 111 and here we have 105. And uh, both of these panels are set up for um, working with the CPA. So the setup needed is basically if you go to CPA, you have to have that enabled. On the NMOS settings, you also enable NMOS and you need to uh, observe the port number, probably which interface it's running on and whether you have it re registered in the one or the other mode. But you see the port number in this case is uh, 4450. And in the other case, the port number is uh, 310. All right. So if we go back here, you can see that 310 is what was already set up. And the server port number is here. So what I basically, oh, I already have, um, yeah, okay. I prepared for this video. So I have these two set up. But if I wanted to do that like over again, like this, I would basically add an entry and then type in the IP address of my real smart panel. And um, let's just do that here. So this is the first one. If I add this entry, oh wait, let's just remove that one. Okay, so I want to I want to save this one. So that would be the um, real smart panel. What is it called? 1232HL. All right, so save and start. Yes. So you can check out here in the logs what it says. And it seems that what um, is it finding a panel? already in use. So you see here in the logs that it is uh, it just restarted on this timestamp, but actually I also need to enable the panel. So let's just do that. Restart, save and OK. Let's scroll in the log and see what happens. And it seems actually that it is successful. It is connecting to the device and so on. Now, let's go back to React to home screen, because in home screen, all we need to do is to add panel and we discover panels on the network. And there you see the real smart panel is popping up as a raw panel device. So this little piece of software I just installed actually becomes the translator between the panel and reactor. And there you go, the smart panel is now included with reactor and you can already see it down here that it is populating with content. In fact, it already connects to a video hub, I think. So let's just try out here. You see over here, we basically select our output on the video hub and uh, you see the input is following along and I can select the different input uh, on the video hop. So how, how did this come about? Well, because as I selected the panel, it turns out that we already have a bunch of default configurations in the system. So in preparation and in integration with the smart panels, we did you a favor. We already prepared a number of use cases, which is working out of the box, as you just saw. 
but you can also do custom configurations. And in this video series, I'll show you all of these. So everything from out of the box functionality to complete custom made configurations. All right, so that's really exciting. And, and the first one that it just picks by default would be a video hub, which is uh, from Blackmagic Design, you see it right here. So it actually is controlling this smart video hub. So let me see if I type in video hub control, I'm pretty sure that we will have this a video hub application coming up and I think it is connected to the same one. So if we look at our output, which is output number five, you can see it is reflected that uh, if I pick another input source for that output, it is reflected on the smart panel. But also if I change it up here in this application, you see the smart panel is following along. So you have perfect synchronicity between these two things. Of course you do, because this is how Skyhoy roll. So um, that was the two U panel. Could we also add the one rack U panel? And um, yes, we can. Now, we actually need to set it up back in the packages again. So uh, if we go back here, we see that we have a number of uh, packages running on the blue pill. And we, apart from actually have a, having device calls that will talk to Kumo routers, ATEM switches, video ops, and also a Riedel Micron, router, we have hardware manager, which is uh, necessary. We have system manager, which is also necessary. That is basically the UI you're seeing. And then we have reactor, which is the panel management application we use to map the video router functionality onto the smart panel. And the Riedel smart panel application here is the conversion between the smart panel language and raw panel, which is a protocol that a lot of um, or basically all Skyhoy devices is supporting. This is also how we integrate stream decks and X keys and whatnot. But let's add an entry for the RSP 1216HL. Let's just enable it straight away. We need to have the IP address of it. And I do remember this is the one. The port was the same. This port number has to change. It has to be 74, for instance. And the rest is all fine. Let's start and restart. And then it, we could check the logs if it's fine. Uh, is there any evidence that this works? Uh, let me see. It looks like it. Yes. OK. But anyway, we can go back to home and then if we add another panel inside of Reactor, it can manage multi multiple panels, no problem. There you see we have this the second Riedel smart panel, which is the one rack unit version. And in this case, it also picks up a default configuration. It was a different one than this one. So actually, if we look on the panel, you do see that it has something page one and page one here. But we'll get back to the quick classes in a different video. So to um, let, let, let's in this case, try the AJ Kumo configuration. So actually, by just picking that and because I have an AJ Kumo router already set up over there, we are now actually selecting outputs just like we did for the video hub on the other smart panel. And then over here, we can pick the inputs. So that's a Kumo router. What if I wanted to change over to the SWP08, which is um, the Micron real router. So now you see again, we have here um, output selection, um, source delegation to output two, output number three, source delegation to output number three. Uh, I become adventurous right now. I think maybe, 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 maybe. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> because this is how we usually do our implementations. We sometimes secretly let you select multiple things at a time. But usually when you just press a button once, you select it in, uh, you know, you, you remove the original selection and you pick a new one. But if you press and hold, sometimes we add. And in this case, I have now added in output number one, three and four. And if I press this one, I am routing everything, you know, uh, sorry, I'm routing input five to those three selected outputs. And I think we can do this. So it, it's, it's just like, you know, Skyhoy coolness. All right. So here we have now three outputs selected and I can route shelf six to all of these three. So if you see, I, I go back and now I select them individually. So that, that's a little feature which is often hidden in our configuration, regardless of which of these configurations that you would pick. So we have one for ADA Kumo routers for SWP08, which goes for a lot of different ones like the Micron uh, Riedel router we are currently using here. Then we have um, the Video Hub, which is an Atom, uh, sorry, Blackmagic product. And we also do have Atom Aux uh, configuration. So what is that? Well, um, it is running up here on, on the um, top of uh, the um, one rack unit smart panel. 
Uh, let me see. Maybe if I start ATEM software control, we should be able to see that we are actually probably output number one might be yeah, Kumo number one. So if you look in this list we have on screen right now, then you'll see as I am basically uh, routing here, I'm actually routing on an auxiliary bus on an ATEM switcher. So all these things are coming out of the box for the smart panels to get you quickly started with a lot of different video routers and auxiliary opportunities. And of course you can make your own as well, which is covered in a different video. I want to show you one thing about the uh, panels, which is actually found in the web UI of the panels themselves. So when you use the CPA, the control panel application on the Riedel smart panels, you basically assign key blocks to different sections of the panel. So right now we have key block number one assigned to this section up here, key block number two is assigned down here and so on. And that actually means you can, you can move these sections around from within Riedel's hardware or hardware configuration and um, yeah, so map it differently. And for instance, in the case where you wanted to use the, the two rack unit to uh, both do routing, but also intercom control, you sh you, and this is the reason why you find an extraordinary amount of configurations here, because if you pick one that is actually designed for the 1216, which is the one rack unit smart panel, if, if you pick that one, let's just pick it right there, then you see immediately it is actually centering around the two key blocks, which are key block number one and number two. So three and four are not used. They could be used for intercom instead, I assume. And that would be fully managed inside here. So let's say that we actually turn these two off and then we take key block number two and we move key block number two down onto the top right. So now I should basically, as I'm saving, and I think I also need to, let's just submit here. So first it blanks out and it is kind of expected because when you make this kind of configuration change, you need to go into the um, blue pill configuration, find the smart panel application and restart it because it now needs to pick up this change from the panels. That doesn't happen automatically, but now as I am restarting it, we will see that it is picking this up. If I go back to control here, you see that these two um, are now picked up as expected. And now you have these two key blocks, key block number one, key block number two, and you can still select your output and you can route your input. So that was the starting video on Riedel smart panels, how you can integrate them with Reactor, how you can mix Skahoy technology and Riedel technology for the best possible controlled experience in your OB trucks and your master control rooms.